gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, what uh, saddens me about Baltimore is that uh, uh, what we saw occur uh, can and is happening in every city throughout the U.S. Um, and the so social justice issue, which uh, is the most important issue, um, because you have this uh, you know, social justice issue that we all know know well. Um, but that was really the spark. That was the spark that erupted a power keg. And the power keg is that um, uh, jobs are gone. Good jobs are gone. Um, uh, you know, there's a, a pretty conservative and uh, w well uh, well noted uh, MIT economist that uh, said that in the next 10 to 20 years, North America will lose 40% of its jobs. Um, and this is this is pretty conservative. Um, you know, now whether that's true or not um, uh, is, is debatable. But we're seeing innovation and, 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 and robotics and automation uh, get rid of, of jobs in all sectors, all sectors. Uh, so what that produced um, is uh, neighborhoods and communities where uh, you have total disenfranchisement, total. And so uh, big supporter of entrepreneurship education, we have to uh, change, you know, federal policy. Um, there's a lot of money that goes to support uh, the innovation economy. Uh, about $150 billion a year, $150 a billion a year goes to support innovation. Uh, a lot of that is funding to our Research One universities, and uh, uh, we have to make sure that funding is connected to building uh, the new economy. And I think we've seen uh, uh, some of that uh, uh, sort of percolate. I mean, we look at what uh, Democracy Collaborative and uh, done. We're seeing some of that percolate, but um, we just have to, 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 to really make sure that we have a sustained movement uh, 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 here. And I think uh, what's different now versus in the past is that um, there's no silver bullet. I mean, there's no next jobs wave that can be that pacifier. See, in the past, I mean, I remember when Rodney King got beat and, you know, uh, there were protests you know, in Atlanta and all throughout the U.S. I mean, that was a part of the one in Atlanta. So it died. It died. So uh, this has to be sustained. It has to be sustained, and uh, we have to make sure that it's sustained. There's going to be a lot of money flowing, and there's going to be a lot of band-aids. I and mean, we saw one. You know, I'm an attorney, and we saw, okay, the cops were were, were indicted. Um, uh, I will put my money on it, and anybody wants to bet me, they will not be convicted. Pacifier. And so uh, there are going to be a lot of pacifiers. So the movement needs to be sustained so that uh, a lot of the great things that are taking root can can uh, be scaled so that it's not just uh, nice, nice, nice things that uh, that don't have uh, the impact.